Hey everyone, it's Jaden from Mission Bit. We're back with another coding tutorial. And for today's video, we're going to learn how to set up a first person controller with Unity's input system. And then we'll learn how to create a third person controller using the same system, but we'll combine it with Unity's Cinemachine free look camera component. As you can see here. So let's get right into it. First thing you want to do, like always, create a new project. I'm using 2022 3.31 LTS right now, so I'm just going to give it a name, give it a folder, and create my project. So now that our project is set up, as I mentioned before, we're going to use Unity's input system, which is a great way to use universal controls for different devices. It's a good way to maintain controls with your mouse and keyboard or other external devices like controllers. So let's get that set up. Go into the package manager and we're going to search input system. Should be the first one that pops up. Install, let that load. So it's going to prompt you to restart the editor. So just make sure you do that so it'll reset your input settings. I'm back in. And one thing we do want to do before we get into development, go back to our input system package and go over to our sample. So we could download a couple samples that Unity already has created for us. So it makes our life much easier. So we're just going to look around and what we want is the simple demo. So just import that. So let's go into the sample. And let's go look for using player input. So this one is just a little demo showing you how player input works. Got a little environment here. Let's test this out. All right. So you can move. You got a little fire. And then once you hold it, I have a little charging. I'll shoot a lot out. So this itself is already enough for a first person controller. You can remap a lot of these controls. So the firing, you can use something else. So this whole thing pretty much works. So what we can do is go over to our player object. Let's take a look at this and see kind of what's going on. So we have our camera object already on our player. It has a little player controller script. And then here we have our player input. And this one connects to basically the input system that was created for us. Uh, one very important thing is how our controls are mapped out. So when you go into player input, events, gameplay, here is where basically we have our controls mapped out. So right here is our fire input. This one is our on move input. And this one's our look input. So right now, we only need about the move and the look. Uh, we don't exactly need a fire in our demo right now. But for now, let's just take this player object. And we can just make this a prefab by grabbing it and dragging it into our folder. Now this is a prefab. Let's go back into our original scene. And let's try to bring this player object into our project. Uh, let's first create a floor. A good looking floor. Cool. Let's throw this player object into our game. Okay. 
way over here. So when we drag it in, it probably has some leftover transform values. So let's just zero that out. Uh, same with this floor, actually. Zero, zero, zero. Cool. What we do now, let's bring our player object a little bit higher. It above like that. Click save and oh, one important thing make sure both camera objects are, or let's make sure there's only one camera object. So this one already came in our scene. We can delete that one. And since our player object already has a camera, that's the one we kind of want in our game. So this itself should be good for a first-person controller. Activity is really strong, but seems like things are working. Can move around, make a fire. So yeah, that's a quick little setup for a first-person controller. Today. We learn how to use Unity's input system and implement one of their sample FPS controllers. In the next video, we're going to learn how to utilize the Cinemachine component so we can create a smooth third-person camera. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching.